Pretend this is your nutsack. Oh my god. I don't know if anyone's done a squeeze directly onto the nutsack. I think it's usually into the hand and the Jimmy. smathering. And hey, welcome. These are your balls. <laughs> uh, Jim's gonna lick my balls. It's <laughs> a lot of ball stuff on my hand. Do it those do the whole show with that on what your What do hands. I do? Whole show with that whole on your show? hand. Whole show? Yeah. My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. We spent the All-Star break in Denver with the All-Stars playing blitz ball, front lawn games. We went to the Home Run Derby where Trevor Plouffe shit talked some kids and lost a ball to Zach Campbell. Jake, how are you doing? Chris Rose was there. All of our people were there. My voice is still raspy, baby. Yeah. Uh, I'm good, man. I, I have some of the Manscaped crop gel all over my hands. Just pretend they are a nice, cleanly shaved pair of testicles, and I will be doing the whole show as if my left hand is a pair of testicles. I do. Denver was fun. I do a lot of shows as if your left, left hand, hand is, is a pair testicles. of testicles. Enough about us. Well, Let's under get the desk. Oh, he's hiding it. Let's get to the news, and we're going to start. Start out with the sports. Jake, can you give us the sports report? Jimmy, you know I'm a big sports guy, and everyone is talking about the NBA playoffs, that Giannis alley-oop. Don't care, Jim. The real story, Air Horse Ones. We are flying horses to Tokyo for the Olympics. 325 horses, specialized cargo planes for the Olympics and the Paralympics. How about that? One of those things where you read it and you go, ah, I've watched the Olympics my whole life. I never once thought, how'd they get all the horses there? Right. And they got a special plane. And they're just fans. They're not competing. No, these are the competition horses. And I wonder if they fuck as much as the athletes. You know how they always say the Olympic Village has tons of condoms? Is this airplane ride nothing but horses messing around? You know this is genuinely not a joke. The only reason I wanted to be an Olympian was to go to the Olympic Village and just watch it happen. You don't want to take partake. You just want to watch. You I would have liked you to wanted, partake once or you twice. You wanted to just sit in the lobby where the bowl of condoms were and just see people just see, grab like, them. Okay, like, oh. gymnast and basketball player. Okay, we've got a biathlete and a horse. We've got a. Uh, I'm, I've always been interested in, in like in the in the in the most frequent combo. Do you get what I'm saying? If they had analytics on that. Uh, analytics, I'd be like the in the that. biggest combo That's is my Olympics. the uh, uh, volleyball team and ooh. the. Sex. Skeet shooters. And you're like, whoa. The horses and the planes. Do you think it's like race horses and then like the show horses? And the, do you don't think they categorize the plane? The don't divvy up the horses on the plane. It's you just the think the cutest horses in the front, ugly horses in the back. So the horses are all traveling to the Olympics. Excited. Olympics are coming up, Jim. We'll probably talk about it on here. Uh, imagine like the one dude, like the like the three humans that are in that plane monitoring the horses and they're just like, it's awful, man. They're it just stinks. It smells like manure it smells like and horse. Shit. Fucking each other silly. They've made so many horse shit jokes. He just walks around with his thing, grooming all the horses. Manscaped. Zzz. You know what I always thought? Manscaped. How come you guys don't have a commercial where you shave the statue, the statue of David's pupes? Ah. Hey, Zach, put statue of David right here. And now... That's a gel. Now it's I'm shaving gel. his pubes. And now the statue of David's... And Man Manscaped. Make that ad. That's a good one. You know? Jim, weren't you telling me about the not sports in this... Fiasco. I know I say it a lot. One of my favorite not sports stories in a You're, while. I'm. I was surprised how sh excited you were for this story. So a Michigan man started tearing down uh, his. Let me get the facts right. Get the facts right. No one cares about story. this fact at all. Yeah, but I'm you gonna, could lie about it. Yeah. Make okay. Story he was making a new patio. That's the word I, I wanted. So I was going to say deck. And he found me. he found 160 bowling balls. Oh yeah. And he says that he thinks there's 160 more under there. That's he so just needs. He, yeah. It's actually he is obnoxious. I guess there's a buck sixty. He's asking more. a GoFundMe to like re. Dig out more, and I don't like that. But some of the bowling balls are from f the 1950s. Some are recent. Yeah. Nobody knows why. This wasn't like a bowling alley. I really hope this story, if they were to do history on it, would do be the, the guy who lived there stole a ball from the alley every time he went and just put it under his like porch. That. Like in Stand By Me when he buried the jar full of coins underneath like the that. porch, and then he just went bowling a lot. No, but this is cool. 
Jim, I mean, to find a graveyard of an inanimate object in your house is so cool. I completely get where you're coming from. It's the it's the discovery factor, and it, this is like this feels like a Mad Libs. Like you found 160 bowling balls yeah. in your house. The only part I don't like how into it this guy is. Because, A, he said the double up. Like, I think there's another 160. It's like, all right, you're just kind of being obnoxious. And then the line I hate here, he says, it became mind-blowing. A few of them looked like alien eggs. And it's like, you know what they looked like? Bowling balls, dude. All of them. If you saw an alien. If you saw an egg. Dude, what are you talking about? I didn't read the alien egg line. You see an alien egg, you say, that looks like a bowling ball. That's your frame of reference. You're a human on Earth. A bad gas today. Oh, well, uh, these bowling balls, as smooth as Jake's balls, both of them Crop gel. shaved with Manscaped. I'm covered in it. Dumb 20. Dumb 20. Dumb 20. Dumb 20. Be as smooth as the bowling balls that this dude found. Jake, what's the next story that you want to talk about? Jim, the story that I can't get out of my mind. Are we labeling this anything? Is this just part of not sports? The next story. We'll just label this the next story. The next story. I think that might be back. The Esposito next story. Crossed out and says someone not as dark. Jim, animal control officers, and you know I'm into this kind of ish. Actually, you're probably nervous Ooh. about this one. Officers untangle owl and turtle stuck together in Virginia. Now, this is so, as excited as you are about the bowling ball, I get as excited about this. I love animals, and I don't want to know the details because I'm picturing them being very happy together. Jim, you're kind of being rude, and everyone's thinking it, and you need to think of it because you can't do it. Admit it. You can't do it. I will get Admit it. you can't right do it. Right now, I can't. Admit you I can't do it. I haven't unlocked the secret. Failure to is your only option, the Jimmy O'Brien story. Jim, owl and turtle stuck together. You have to say something because you can't do that, but I'll do it for you. That's not what you're trying to do. I That's can't. not what you're trying to do. I, I was trying to say f- something about the story. I mean, we want to draft f- animals that should be friends that aren't, and I and I never once thought owl and turtle. And uh, let's go! I got it over my head. <laughs> nice, nice. I watched this video, and the video was pretty dissatisfying because the tur- sure. you don't really see. They don't zoom in at all. What are you trying to zoom in on on these two animals stuck together? Here's what. Here's my real thing. If the turtle's alive, the owl isn't stuck to the turtle. The turtle has caught the owl and is holding it hostage. If the turtle's dead, then the owl got stuck inside a dead turtle and killed it. So you think the turtle's the weak creature here? It's up for debate. I think the turtle might have caught the owl. They're best friends. And they have a new show on the John Boy Media Network, The Turtle and the Fowl. Turtle and the Fowl. Tune in. Would you rather hook up with Turtle Hour? Three, two, one. Turtle. turtle. Yeah. <laughs> Softer. <laughs> oh, owl. Talons of the owl. I didn't kill you. Staircase? The staircase? The staircase, Doc? Oh. Oh. It's the employee of the week. Oh, oh, oh. It's the employee of the week. It's the employee who has feet. You it's know the employee Jesus who's asleep. Christ, but do you know Jesus Chris? Because we got two of them. Chris. Oh. All the Chris's. Mostly Chris Rose. And Chris. <laughs> Chris from Ops. Oh, my God. I don't know if he wants his name out there. I'm going to tell you that. I've been watching. These Pittsburgh Pirates are the worst team I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> All the Chris's, man. Uh, we had a curses. nice week. Uh, both the Chris's were huge for our Denver trip. Um, reinvented cool. reinvented clapping. Cool. It's loud. That's how you cool. clap loud at a high school. Gra- if you're a dad at a high school graduation and you don't, you want to clap a little louder for your kid, use the brochure or whatever they give you. Manscaped. Dumb 20. Also, shave your pubes before you go to your kid's graduation. You have to. Feel good about it. I mean, that's a sex night. That's a big dad sex night. Your kid graduates With something. mom. <laughs> that was a weekly dumb support for this show was brought to you by manscaped get 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code dumb 20 at manscaped.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with the code dumb 20 at manscaped.com tame the summer swamp in your pants <laughs> manscaped <laughs> <laughs> That's what they've been referring to Jake's dick for a while. The swamp. Girls come over from the party. Yeah, I got caught in the swamp again. Didn't want to. <laughs> I don't think any of these guys are going to be on the team next year. I can't watch this.